Hello, I'm Steve Jones and this is the Travel Today Wrap-Up where we briefly recap this week's major talking points from the travel industry. It may be April Fool's Day today, but nobody's laughing at Qantas, that's for sure. Just days after raising fares to increase revenue, the Flying Kangaroo announced a range of cost-cutting measures, partly to offset the spiralling cost of fuel, but also to try and recoup $140 million worth of losses incurred due to the natural disasters that have taken place at home and overseas this year. An unspecified number of management positions will be axed, while uh, uh, frequencies to Japan and Christchurch will be reduced, and overall group capacity will also be cut. Qantas also said it would retire aircraft early in a move to reduce overheads. To retail now, a new home-based network launched this week called Travel Partners. It's the brainchild of Jeff Hakim, who founded Travel Managers some years ago. That will add competition to what is an already pretty feisty sector of the uh, retail industry. To Expedia and AirAsia now, they launched a joint venture in certain Asian Pacific markets. It doesn't directly impact um, Expedia's Australian operation. However, in uh, another move, Expedia will become the sole exclusive third-party provider of AirAsia ceased. And that might not be all it seems actually in the local market because Webjet and Best Flight do currently sell AirAsia flights, although not officially. There's no official agreement between um, the online guys and AirAsia. They screen scrape the airline systems which enables them to offer those flights to consumers. AirAsia is saying it's not going to clamp down on that screen scraping policy, so Expedia will be the official partner of AirAsia. But if you shop around, you still can find those flights elsewhere. Finally, Orion Expedition Cruises announced a delay to the arrival of its second vessel, the Orion 2. Cruises will be impacted um, for the uh, the forthcoming season and consumers there being compensated. That's it for now this week. Uh, In next week's Travel Today, we'll have full coverage from ATE, which starts in Sydney on Sunday. We'll also have the 2010 cruise statistics which will be announced on Monday by the International Cruise Council Australasia. Thanks for watching, until next week, um, have a good week, we'll see you soon.